we are now in the Mercedes EQC and in this video I'm going to show you what happens if you don't touch the steering wheel so it has this um, autopilot feature which is active uh, well let me see what is it called again there's a specific name for it. let me double check here it's called active steering assist and active lane assist yes so um, uh, similar to uh, some of the other systems, uh, but uh, I think this one is a bit different uh, if you don't hold the steering wheel. So that's what we're going to find out now. So the system is active and now we will, um, we are on the road now with very little traffic and it's five in the morning. Yes. So, and we have two lanes in each direction. So I will just let off the steering wheel now and then we get some warnings. It will bug me that I have to take the steering wheel. Okay. More and more bugging. I have no cars behind me. This is why I'm here five in the morning. I'll see what happens. Okay, it's quite patient. Yeah, this system is quite patient, but uh, Hopefully we'll see now that this system is, okay, there you go, beginning emergency stop, okay, it slows down, slows down, put on the hazard lights, okay, I have no cars behind me, slows down to a complete stop, still no cars behind me, it stops for a bit, still just stopping there. Whoa, call, uh, it's a call SOS. Uh, let me stop, no, stop that one. No, ho <laughs> okay, let me take over. I don't want you to call SOS. Let's start driving. Connected, no, stop that. I'm trying to stop the SOS. Ah, oh, sorry, uh, I was just testing the system. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Are you sure, sir? Because the, the car is communicating to us that you, you had an accident right now. No, no, no accident. I was just testing uh, what will happen if I don't take over the steering wheel. I'm recording a video about it. Okay, so you didn't have an accident, sir? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Let me have a check. The car is on EQC. Yes. Okay, uh, the position. Are you on the uh, E16? Yes, that's right. Awesome. So, you have a problem with the emergency system, sir, if you... So, you press the red button, just to test. Oh, oh I was not supposed to press the red button. Oh, I see. Um, because I was trying to cancel the call, but I didn't know what to do. Okay, here the system is telling me that you, an automatic activation after the emergency stop is started. It means that you had an accident because it is an automatic call or that you, you press the red button. But okay. I, okay. Sir, in this case, I will terminate the calls in a few seconds. But tomorrow morning, if you can go to a dealer or I don't know where you have you pick up the car yeah. and you have to, yeah, you have to ask them which is the problem. Okay, you no. Can show, you can show this video that you are recording right now. Yeah. You can show this video to them and they understand everything. Yeah. And then they have to know what to do. Okay, yes. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let me check just one last thing. I'm going to turn on the call. Okay. I'm going to drop the call. If you need further help, you can press the red button again, okay? Okay, yes, thank you. Have a nice night. Yeah. Take care, sir. Bye. Right. Bye bye. All right, that was a bit. Uh, I, I mean, you can say that I should have tested it beforehand, but you can't really test an SOS button, but uh, it was flashing on the screen, initiating, uh, I mean, calling the emergency number. And 
I didn't know how to cancel it. Yeah, maybe I should have touched the screen. I was a little bit uh, uh, confused. Uh, so, uh, and it blinked up there. So I, I open it and there is a red button you're not supposed to press unless you're really sure that you're in an emergency. Uh, but they, okay, I have to say they responded quite fast. That's good. Uh, you don't have to wait too long. Um, I'm not sure where I came to, uh, but um, I wanted to demonstrate something and th that didn't work though. That was a bit weird because uh, I was told that when the, the, the vehicle goes to a complete stop, uh, it's supposed to uh, unlock the car and then take down all the windows in case of an emergency. Uh, you want people, the rescue people, to be able to access the car. So they, so the car is supposed to unlock and take down the windows, but that didn't happen. I'm not sure why, but okay, I'm not going to test this again <laughs> because I don't know how to disable the if it starts calling the the emergency number again. But all right, but you no, know, my point is, let me let me just set this. Uh, let's set the cruising speed again. Um, my point is that. This system, uh, in my opinion, is uh, one of the safest ones. I've been, I've been testing some systems where, uh, well, that was in the Hyundai uh, Kona and in the I-Pace. Uh, it just disables the auto steer, but still, uh, still has the, the adaptive, I mean, the cruise control active. So basically, <laughs> if you faint, you, if you have a heart attack, uh, the car will still keep moving, uh, but then you will crash somewhere. But uh, let me turn on the lights, but oh, not that one. Uh, but in this case, they assume that something happened because most people, they don't do this purposely, you know, uh, and they will take over after a couple of warnings. Um, and then you have, uh, well, the newer, newer uh, for the soul, uh, then it will actually slow down like this one. So that's good. And then in Tesla, it also slows down, but Tesla will punish you because Tesla system will assume that you're being a bad boy and then it disables the auto there for the rest of the drive. So you have to put the car in park and then you can use auto there again. But here, they take all the precautions, assuming that uh, you you are ill or something. Like uh, Pro Pilot in Nissan also does it. Uh, actually, yeah, that that one will um, will break a couple of times hard to try to wake you up, and then so that one is also considered to be pretty good. Uh, the only problem is that that break hard braking could be dangerous for the cars behind, uh, and then uh, the system in e-tron will also break but it will also pull the, the seat belt a couple of times. This one doesn't do it, but it has the, uh, it has the motor to pull the seat belt. It will actually, you can, we have this feature when you start driving, you can pull the seat belt a little bit to, to uh, have enough tension. Um, but also uh, e-tron system will also slow down. So I just want to show you guys what happens if you don't take the steering wheel and the difference between the, the systems and unfortunately I was not able to show you all of this one uh, about the unlocking and the, the, the windows but close enough and about the <laughs> emergency call <laughs> yeah okay that was not my intention I was not supposed to go that far to talk to the emergency people but okay at least we show that it works so yeah but I think that'll be it um, I hope you guys enjoy this video <laughs> and as always thank you for watching and talk to you later.